Okay, welcome all in our webinar today in which we, uh, which you will learn inshallah more about ACCA course, okay? Uh, it's supposed to be introduced by Mr. Tahir Kapasi, the Middle East, the ACCA Middle East Educational Manager, okay? Uh, but because of an emergency circumstance, inshallah, Mr. Hamad Khan, the ACCA Middle East uh, Business Relationship Leader, will inshallah introduce this webinar. If you have any question, you are free to ask. From the bottom, you will see uh, there is a question and answer. Okay, you can click on this. And you can ask any question you like, and we will inshallah answer you at the end of this webinar. Now I would like to welcome Mr. Aqil, the General Manager of Al Ma'alim Institute, to open this webinar. Welcome, Mr. Aqil. Thank you, uh, Mariam. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody who participate today with us in this uh, special uh, webinar and uh, special thanks to Mr. Hamid and Mr. Tahir for uh, sharing us this webinar and for contributing in this webinar. And uh, I appreciate their efforts and support as usual for, uh, for our uh, center. Uh, I would like to introduce something um, for you about us and introduce Al Muallim for for uh, for you here. Um, maybe most of you, uh, or if not, uh, has an idea about Al Muallim Institute. You know, Al Muallim Institute is one of the leading private institute that is already registered in. <clears throat> Ministry of Labor as a vocational institute, uh, registered also in Ministry of Commerce, Minister, uh, registered also in Bahrain Chamber uh, of Commerce, uh, approved by Tamkin, and also qualified by Bahrain Qualification Authority, uh, which is the BQA. Al Muallim was established in 1992, officially. Uh, before that, we were also in operation. So in, in total, we are almost 30 years experience in the training industry in Bahrain and in uh, GCC. Uh, what, uh, what is our specialist here is only to provide vocational and professional qualifications. Uh, that, uh, th that is for the sector of the government, semi-government, private companies and individuals. Uh, in this 28 or 30 years, we have built a big database and uh, many clients, and uh, we have trained many sectors. Uh, and we are accredited and affiliated with various globally recognized awarding bodies, which is almost our uh, strength here that we are affiliated with very professional and well-known awarding bodies all around the world. So our clients, our customers, our students, when they join any course with us, they can benefit out of it all around the world. It's not only for Bahrain. That is why we call it professional certificates. You can use this certificate anywhere you, you go or you visit or you live in the world. So uh, that is one of our main strengths. This is number one. Number two, we have uh, different types of trainees. So we provide trainee, train, uh, training courses for the job seekers, for employees, for retired, for all uh, level of corporate and uh, individuals as well. We have around 1,000 students per year, average 1,000 students, more or less, it depends. Um, our air, air, uh, areas of learning also, it is, we have various air, uh, areas of learning. Uh, we teach many courses, 
in different uh, aspects like finance and accounting, like English language, like quality management, engineering softwares, which is the Autodesk, uh, Revit, uh, all engineering courses. Uh, we have also courses about computer literacy. We have courses about occupational health and safety. We have courses in digital marketing. We have also about procurement and supply chain, project management, graphic design, employability skills, human resource development and management. So we are trying to cover different type of uh, training required in the market, but we make sure that these courses are all recognized and all trusted for the corporate and for the individuals, because it is easy now to find out that this course or, or this certificate is valid, required or not required in the market. That is why you can see here in this slide, our affiliations and our partners uh, list and this, this um, logos are all, almost the, uh, our strength as a Muslim for the whole 30 years in Bahrain and in the GCC. So I hope when you join uh, the Al Muallim for any course, uh, you will find it uh, very uh, effective, efficient in training and qualified to deliver all these courses uh, with the trust of the all awarding bodies. Uh, thank you very much. I don't want to make it long. Um, we are located in SIF area. Uh, our main campus is in SIF area, which is accessible by everybody. And um, I will leave now the microphone to Mr. Hamid. He will explain the details our, about the ACCA course, the requirements and the levels and the whole track for the ACCA. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, our panel. Thank you, um, my students. And uh, thank you, Mr. Hamid. Uh, and uh, the floor is for you now. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Um, before I start my presentation, I would like to thank to Al Malim um, Institute to giving us opportunity today to speak to you. And thank you to you student, to you guys, to make it up time and to come to attend our session today. My name is Hamid Khan. I am the business relationships executive for the ACCA Middle East. And today I'm going to show you, or I'm going to go through uh, you to the ACCA qualification. What is ACCA? Why someone need to do ACCA? And what are the requirements for ACCA? So I'll take you through the whole presentation, the whole qualification of ACCA. We will be having a question and answer session at the end of the presentation. If you have any question, please keep it at with you and you have to ask, you can ask the question at the end of the presentation. When we talk about ACCA, ACCA is Association of Chartered Certified Accounting. When we talk about ACCA, it's a world of, world of opportunities. And why is that? Because ACCA qualification covers everything that a professional accountant need to know. So we talk about ACCA qualification, it's a complete qualification on accounting and finance. It's a complete syllabus. It is, um, so nothing, nothing important or uh, important knowledge are leave behind when we complete the ACCA qualification. So there are particular areas ACCA is covering like uh, reporting, financial reporting, tax, audit, all these this areas are covering in the ACCA qualification. So once you qualify as an ACCA or once you join the ACCA and you pass some of the papers, there are a lot of opportunities will be waiting for you. So it's not just you can work with one of or you can work with an accounting firm. You can work anywhere in the world, any organization in the world, because ACCA is a global qualification. So when we talk about ACCA, 92% of employees say ACCA people have the skills needed to drive their business. And why is that? As I mentioned earlier, ACCA is a complete qualification. So it is not leaving any, any section of accounting, finance, audit, taxation, reporting, 
all these areas are covering in the SSA qualification. And that is one of the reasons that employers really like ACCA qualification. When we talk about ACCAs, we have around more than 5,000 qualified ACCA members in the Middle East. And Alhamdulillah, till today, we don't have any jobless member. And the reason again, employers recognize ACCA qualification as a complete qualification. So once you qualify as an ACCA, you can start your career like, like a junior accountant, or you can start as an um, uh, assistant assurance or assistant uh, accountant, and you can reach to the highest level in the organization you can be a cfo you can be a ceo you can you can you can be a finance manager or you can have your own accounting firm so you don't need to work for anyone you can start your own business and you can you can you can reach wherever you want to reach with an acca qualification so acca is was established in 1904 so more than 100 plus years of experience we have 223,000 members, 527,000 students in 180 countries. So once you qualify as an ACCA, it's not necessary. You can stay only in Bahrain or you can, you can stay only in the Middle East. You can work, you can go to anywhere in the world and you will be recognized as a chartered qualified accountant. We have 101 offices in 57 countries. So wherever you go, you're going to get the same level of, of engagement, same level of support from the ACC offices around the world. We are, we are, we are working very closely with our, with our partners. So we have a different partnerships with a different organization. So we are, we are working with the universities, we are working with the tuition providers, we are working with the with the with, with international qualifications. So it's not like we just you just qualified as an ACCA and that's all. So I'll give you one or two examples. So just suppose you qualified as an ACCA member and tomorrow you would like to move to Canada. So you can apply for the Canadian CPA no more exams you just need to pass two online assessments one is law one is tax and you'll be a qualified cpa from canada just suppose you are in australia or new zealand you can apply for caa and z chartered accountant australia and new zealand and you will get a direct membership of caa and z if in the future, by any chance, you came to the UAE and you qualified ACCA, then you can apply for the UAECA and you'll become a United Arab Emirates Chartered Accountant. So like this, we have a different partnerships with the different organization. ACCA always believe to working together, not in the competition. So once you qualify as an ACCA, that is not the end. That we call the start of the relationship. So once you qualify, once you register with ACCA, many of our, like I'm talking about the Middle East, 70% of our students are coming from those schools directly without going universities. And why is that? Because once they register with ACCA, they pass the first three exams, they'll get a diploma, diploma in accounting and business from ACCA. They pass six more exams, they'll get advanced diploma in accounting and business from ACCA. And apart from the diplomas, they have a chance to get a degree BSc honors in applied accounting from the Oxford Brooks University, UK. And that is the actual degree you will get along with the qualification. And that's why 70% of students coming directly from the schools to join ACCA qualification. Then you will finish four more exams and you will become a qualified ACCA. Okay, then you have a chance to get a master's from the ACCA, from the University of London. So you will have a diploma, advanced diploma, bachelor's degree, ACCA qualification, and master's qualification. All these you can achieve in two and a half or three years. It depends on the student to student. You can finish one and a half years, two years, but I believe if you, we have total 13 exams. If you go for two exams or one exams every, every three months, you can easily finish the whole qualification two and a half or three years. 
ACCA qualification is your global passport. As I mentioned earlier, you can work anywhere in the world. You can reach to anywhere, any organization in the world. You can go, you can work in Canada, you can work in UK, you can work in the UAE, you can work in Bahrain. All these countries recognize ACCA qualification as a professional qualification. So that will be your global passport. These four letters after your name, ACCA, will be your recognition. So once you go for a meeting, there's like hundreds of people are sitting in a room and you give your business card with your name and mention ACCA. Immediately they recognize that you are a chartered accountant from the global professional body. So that will be your passport. Uh, in ACCA, there are total 13 exams, one, three, and we have four examination sessions every year. So you can go for uh, four exams every year, or you can go for two, 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 or you can go for one, one exam. It's totally, totally up to the student. But the only thing is you cannot go eight, more than eight new papers in a year. Reattempt, you failed the exam, reattempt, that could be more than eight times, but you cannot go eight new papers in a year. The first nine papers of ACCA are eligible for exemptions. If you have a degree, if you have a professional qualification from other body, you may get some exemptions. The first nine papers are eligible for exemptions. You may get one exemption, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five. It depends on your previous qualification. It depends on your degree. It depends on your previous professional qualification. So that is, um, is, is already been set in ACCA. It's a rigorous procedure to get the exemption from the uh, like we are working with the university. So just suppose we are working with the university, we review their whole syllabus, we review their whole examination, and if their syllabus is matching more than 80% with ACCA, then they get that paper exemption. So that's how the exemptions are working, but only nine papers are eligible for exemption. Whatever the qualification you are holding, you have to pass the professional, strategic professional exams. So once you pass this applied knowledge three exams, you will get a diploma, diploma in accounting and business from ACCA. You pass six more exams from the applied skills, from that point, you will get a bachelor's degree from the Oxford Brookes University, UK. Once you pass four exams from the professional strategic, then you will get a MSc from the University of London. This is the ACCA has last two years before has introduced this new papers, strategic professional. This is again another milestone for ACCA to, 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 uh, to bring such a paper on board with, with the ACCA qualification. We are, we are very closely working with our approved learning partners. Approved learning partners are where you go and you study with them, you take your classes with them, like Al Mualim. So they are one of the ACC approved tuition provider. So we always recommend, we always suggest to the people to go to study with the approved learning partner. The reason why is that? Because we monitor them. And we keep an eye on them about their pass rate, about their teachers, about the syllabus they are, they are giving to the students. So they are fully monitored. So if, if like anything is going to happen, so we can ask al Muallim, okay, why the student has been keep failing? Why you're not going to work with the student one-on-one? -on -one? So that's why we always recommend to take classes with the approved learning partner of ACCA. There is another requirement for ACCA membership because ACCA is a membership body. So once you register, you register as a student. You finished all qualification, all 13 exams, you became an ACCA affiliate. So as soon as you submit three years of work experience, then you'll become a member of ACCA and they can, then you can use these four beautiful letters ACCA after your name. So the second requirement for the membership is ethics, ethics professional skills module. 
ethics is very, very important um, module uh, or ethics is, is like in normal life, every everybody needs to be ethical behavior. They have to do, they have to follow the ethics. So ACC has this ethics module, which is like 15 hours long, but this is the requirement. You don't need to go to complete the ethics module in one go. You can complete one module, next module, next module, but it's always recommend, always suggested when you are appearing for any professional level paper, the strategic professional level paper, you have to finish your ethics before appearing for that paper. So most of the syllabus of the professional or strategic professional papers are covering in the ethics and professional skills module. This is the online module. It's an interactive module. They put you in a situation that, okay, this is the situation. Now, what are you going to do? You are a finance director of a big XYZ company. And now somebody came and they give you a bribe. Are you going to accept it? Yes, I'm going to accept it. So what will be the consequences of your decision? Okay, then your employer will know about that. They might going to fire you. Maybe the police come to know and then they're going to put you in a jail. So different things on the ethics, all these things will be there on the ethics. Then you can go back and you can correct your decision no, I'm not going to accept the bribe. What will happen then? Then it will show you that, or might be you, you might you might be a promotion, you might get the promotion, or might be you get some good reward for that. So all this information will be there in the ethics and professional skills module. Practical experience. 36 months of work experience is required to be a member of ACCA. These 36 months, could be gained before registering with the ACCA, along with your studies or after completing your studies. So all these three experience will be counted towards your practical experience requirement. But the experience should be relevant. Relevant means should be accounts, audit, or finance. For example, you're working for a big accounting company and you're sitting on the reception. That experience will be not counted towards your practical experience. Even if you're working for Al Mualim and you do you do the, their accounts, that experience will be counted towards your practical experience. If you're working for the hospital, you're doing for, um, for, 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 for masjid, you're doing for church, any volunteer job, as far as that is relevant to accounts, audit or finance, that experience will be counted towards your practical experience requirement. If you gained experience before, along with the study or after study, all these three stages of experience will be counted towards your practical experience. So this is uh, some of the employers, some of the screenshot of the employer where ACCA members are working. So it's not necessary, you can work only with the big accounting firms. You can work with, with DHL, you can work with Google, you can work with Emirates Airline, you can work with the Tehad Airline, you can work with any organization anywhere in the world. Okay, and that experience will be counted towards your practical experience requirement. So it's not necessary, you have to work with the, a big accounting firm only. We as an ACCA, we are not just registering you as a student. We are helping you to develop your career as well. So we have our own ACCA careers portal. So once you register with the ACCA, your account will be there on the ACCA career portal. You just need to log into your to your account, update your account on your on the on the CCA career portal, and update your CV or upload your CV on that portal, and your CV will be visible to all the ACCA approved employer or non-approved employer throughout the world. So if anybody is looking for a fresh graduate, they just going to contact you. If anybody is looking for a part qualified person, they will going to see your CV. Maybe they're going to approach you. If someone is looking for the qualified accountant, all these CVs will be available on the ACCA portal. And it is not just about the portal for the job. We are giving a lot of um, uh, topics is covering or suggestion how to get a job or how to make your CV. So all this information is available free of charge on the ACCA website, on the ACCA careers portal. 
as mentioned earlier acca qualification is a complete qualification it covers everything it covers everything once you qualify as an acca there is no chance that anything is being missed that's why MOE meets as employers demand 86 percent agree that acca is a complete finance profession so once you qualify as an acca you will be recognized as a full chartered accountant from the uk uh, I believe I missed one of the slide. I'll just go back uh, behind a little bit, actually. Eligibility criteria. Eligibility criteria is, is um, the main eligibility criteria is three GCSC, O levels, and two A levels, including English and math. If you meet this criteria, that means you are eligible directly for ACCA. If you don't have these requirements, you are still eligible to do the ACCA qualification, but from the different route. We have two mainstream qualifications. One is ACCA, and the second one is the FIA. You still be able to register with ACCA through FIA, Foundations in Accountancy Road. So if you meet those requirements, Okay, then you will be eligible to register with ACCA. If you don't meet these, registry, these, these requirements, you are still eligible to register with ACCA from the FIA route. So now go back to our final questions. Thank you, Mr. Hamid. Uh, it is very uh, uh, informative uh, information. We appreciate. Uh, if there is no more questions from the students or from the participants, maybe Mariam can share the registration form and also the evaluation. So uh, we can later connect the students and the participant uh, individually. They are, one question is there, how to register during the Corona time? Of course, you can. We can share. We can register online with us, and we will. We will be in touch with you all uh, to let you know how to complete the registration and the requirements. Um, our uh, coordinators will be in touch with you all. Mariam, you can continue. If you have any question. Don't be hesitate. You can just ask us here. There is an icon. You can just click on it for question and answer or by chat. Anyway, I received uh, some questions from you before. Uh, if you can answer it, Mr. Hamid. Sure, ma'am, I'll do it. Okay. Um, number one. Did accountants recruitment will shrink because of techno technological advancement? Yes, of course, because this technology need to run by somebody. So this is the very common question we're receiving every time. As I mentioned it to you, we have more than 5,000 ACCA qualified people are working in the UAE. So there will be no chance they're going to be like ask everybody to leave and they, they're going to ask everything is going to be on the technology. Yes, technology will be there, but technology needs run by the human brain. The human brain is definitely, definitely will be there. Yes, sure. Thank you. Number two, um, how the individual can get or will get a job from studying accounting? As I mentioned, we as an ACCA, we are not just registering you as a student. We help you to develop your career as well. So from the day one, you are our student and that is ACCA's responsibility to find you a job. So we have our own ACCA careers portal. You will log into the ACCA career portal Put your registration number, update your CV, and you receive direct job opportunities from all around the world. It's not necessary, it will be only from Bahrain. Or you have an option to choose only Bahrain, and then you will get the job opportunity only from Bahrain. But yes, the qualification is recognized. Qualification, there's nothing wrong with the qualification, and employers are still recruiting ACCA qualified people. 
But if you are coming from a school and passing the first three papers and then you are expecting a job, I don't think so that is going to work. You just need to pass at least the first nine papers of ACCA. So once you pass the first nine papers, you will have a diploma. You will have advanced diploma and you have a chance to get a bachelor's degree. So once you have these three certificates, there are much more brighter chances you will get a more relevant job in accounting instead of like accountant come reception, accountant come this, accountant come this. So once you finish the first nine papers, I would recommend, I would suggest, then you start looking for the job and you will have a chance to get a better job in accountancy. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Is there a short or a brief way to get the ACCA certificate? Sorry, I didn't get the question. What is the short way? Um, it's like, uh, I think they mean about the exemption that they can get. Yes, if your previous qualification matches to the ACCA qualification or you have from, from one of the recognized university, then you can, you can get nine papers exemption and you have only four papers left. And these four papers, you can finish in three months, you can finish in six months, you can finish in, 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 in 12 months. So it's totally up to the student how much time it will take from their side to complete. Yes, there are total 13 exams in ACCA. We have four examination sessions every year, March, June, September, and December. Even if you don't get any exemption and you go for one paper every three months, you can easily finish the whole qualification two, two and a half years or maximum three years. Are we getting a certificate after completing each subject or paper? Or we have to complete all, uh, all subjects to get the certificate? No, once you pass the first three papers, you will get a diploma, diploma in accounting and business from ACCA. You finish six more exams, you will get advanced diploma in accounting and business from ACCA. You pass six, four more exams and you will get another certificate which we call professional level certificate of ACCA. So these are the exit points. You finish the diploma and after that you don't want to continue. It's totally up to you. You already have a diploma. Okay, I want to get the advanced diploma. Okay, finish six more exams and you will get advanced diploma. So that these are the exit points for the CCA qualification. So it's up to the student when they would like to exit or they can finish the whole qualification. Are you advising the one who completed accounting to start to from the beginning, to be stronger? To be very honest, it's up to the student to student. It's up to the person to person. We have witnessed, we have witnessed, like if you are coming from the employee side, employees always recommend to start from the first paper. If employees is, is supporting your study or they're sponsoring your studies, they always asking to start from the first paper without any exemption. But yes, if you have studied the accounting course, there's no harm to apply for the exemption. Uh, no. One question also, I am an accounting graduate, minor finance. What are the subjects that I am exempted from? Okay, exemptions are depending which university you are coming from. If you are coming from the ACCA's recognized university, then you have a chance to get a better exemption. If the university is not an accredited university or not recognized university of ACCA, then the finance graduates will get the first three papers exemptions only. Accounting graduates will get the first four papers exemptions. If your university is, uh, is recognized by ACCA or ACCA has reviewed your syllabus, you may have a chance to get a better exemption, maybe six, seven, eight, maybe nine. But if it's the university is not approved university of ACCA, the finance student, they're getting three exemptions and the accounting students are getting four exemptions. That is blanket exemption policy throughout the world. Uh, and they can check that law on the website for... Yes, on the ACCA website, there's a section called exemptions a directory. So you can go there, you can put your qualification over there, you will see that 
what information is going to come they're going to ask you when you have finished the degree what is your uh, which which stream you completed the qualification accounting finance or any other so then you will get the, you will come to know that what exemptions you will get from from acca okay one more question uh, our previous experience counted for acca yes all three stages of experience you gain some experience before registering with acca along with your studies or after your studies but the main prop, the main thing about the experiences should be relevant relevant means accounts audit or finance or related to accounts that experience will be counted okay they are asking if it is difficult to pass the professional level paper it should be it should be difficult because these we call is specialization so if you would like to be specialized in in uh, in finance or you would like to specialize in audit you would like to specialize in taxation so yes professional exams should be difficult but it is doable you can do it you have to give a proper commitment you have to give a proper time so there is no chance you're going to fail this exam but yes these exams are should be difficult does acca certificate will be recognized only after three years of work experience because after your work experience you will become a fully chartered accountant if you would like to apply for the job on a higher level then you have to have acca membership if you are applying for the junior job we still you still can do that with the diploma advanced diploma or once you complete the qualification but if you're looking for the higher level of jobs you must be a qualified chartered accountant you should be an acca member and you guys know that uh, in in bahrain acca qualification is recognized as a masters qualification it is on the level 7 in bahrain so it is it is fully recognized qualification in the bahrain ministry of higher education recognized the acca qualification as a masters qualification so once you finish the qualification acca you will be equivalent to the master level mariam there is a question how long it takes to complete the diploma i can't okay. answer okay. <laughs> i can answer mr hamid will allow me of course yeah, please, we have please go ahead yes Uh, we have diploma level 2 level 3 level 4 and level 6 so each diploma has a duration but starting with diploma level 2 it is the average is 3 months uh, level level 3 also 3 months so uh, you if you take the exam on time then you will finish it within 3 months but the level the diploma level 6 and the professional papers are taking longer it takes it takes more than 9 uh, or 8 months okay she means only a diploma in accounting and business from f1 to f3 okay for each subject it depends on the schedule mostly and yani here um we are taking around 5 months like that because we are giving you a chance to do the exam to practice for the exam for each paper uh there is one more question is there is a limit to fail for one subject okay so the answer for that is the first nine papers there is no time limit you can finish in one year you can finish in 10 years so the first nine papers there is no limit as soon as you reach to the final level the professional papers you have to finish them within 7 years so the last four papers you have to finish them within 7 years so there is no limit of, of of failing the exam but there is a limit of the years so you have to finish them within 7 years the last four papers the first nine papers there's no limit you can sit as many time you want i don't want you to fail the exam but yes you can sit the exam as many time as you want but there's no limit for the first nine papers but the last four papers you have to finish them 
within seven years. Okay, there is one last yeah. question. Uh, if I will study only diploma in accounting and business, it can give me a good CV? Yes, it is a qualification. It is recognized. It is equivalent to the first year of the degree of the university degree. Yes, definitely. But if again, again, what you are looking for, if you're looking for a higher job, then you should have to complete the whole qualification. For the entry level jobs, yes, because in Dubai or in the UAE, the diploma students are working with bank and they are working on a very, very entry level of job. So yes, there are chances to get a job with the diploma, but if you want to reach to the certain level, you must have a full qualification. Okay, uh, one more question. How is the percentage of passing? 50% marks in each subject. 49 is fail, 50 is pass. Uh, for the question about the one who graduated from UOB, accounting and finance, um, it depends on which year you graduated. We have to check for you. Yes, you when did you graduate and what is OUB? I don't know. University yeah. of Bahrain? Yeah, University of Bahrain, yeah. Yeah, so we need to check that. When did you graduate? Or we can send you the link. You can check by yourself how many papers you are eligible for exemptions. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hamid, for your informative webinar. Thank you for your effort. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for inviting me to, to, to be part of this webinar. It was lovely talking to you. It was lovely to meet you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. And uh, inshallah, again, we will see you in more webinars. And thank you all participants for attending this webinars. And inshallah, we will see you in our upcoming webinars. If you, if you have any more questions, Please feel free to us. We are here for you. Thank you, Mr. Akhil, also. Hmm. And Thank you very much, Mr. Hamid. Thanks for all the attendees. Thank you, Mariam. Thanks for all the team. And uh, hope we can uh, see you in Bahrain, Mr. Hamid. To meet Inshallah. our students face to face. And um, thank you, Mariam, again.